We must know those whose duty is to pray and those whose duty is to fight. It was Moses that was fighting. I mean, that was praying. With two other people supporting him. The rest were fighting. I said it before. Leave those whose duty is to pray to pray. Some of your duty is to go and do the fighting in the street. Then we pray for you. But in Nigeria, everybody is now prayer warrior and intercessor. Everybody is church, ministry. Nobody wants to go out and do the fight. Why didn't God tell Joshua or Moses, don't worry, all of you should just climb and pray and be shouting, and then the Amalekites will die off. When we don't uh, match your spiritual actions with positive actions, we ain't going nowhere. And look at the number of people who we are praying. How many? Three. Three. But those who went to fight, they were in their thousands. But see Nigeria, you have more prayer warriors and intercessors than you have manufacturers. And people think we are going to prosper. Abby? The more prayer warriors and intercessors you have praying for prosperity and the less manufacturers you have, that country cannot prosper. You know they work. It has never worked. It will not work. We have more prayer houses than way houses for goods and products. You know, go work. Keep patronizing those who are opening churches. In Nigeria, we close down way houses for churches or mosques, as the case may be. We want to, every available space, we want to put mosque or church. Even where people are living, you can't even sleep in peace. And if you talk, you look like Lucifer. Hey, he doesn't like church. He doesn't like prayer. He doesn't like this. No. It won't work like that. Three people, Moses and the people who are supporting him. Personally, for some of you, stop multiplying altars. So why were there only three? Matthew 18. Where two or three gather in my name? I am where? And then, why did Jesus say that? It's so that you know that as far as God is concerned, number does not matter. As I say, where two or three gather in my name? Two or three are enough. But some of us believe miracle cannot happen until you go to a crusade of millions of people attend. You don't know in such places you become a data, I mean a datum. You are just a statistic. Statistic. That's how many Christians have turned the same thing. You are just a statistic. Statistic is for some people. That's what you don't know. Stop multiplying prophets. Stop multiplying authors. God is here. Saint Ephraim is enough for you. Let me tell your neighbor, Saint Ephraim is enough for you. Stop going up and down. In a week, you have visited seven different authors because you are looking for miracle. See, you have changed more than 10. You have more than 15 prophets and uh, men of God. And nothing has changed your life. If your head were correct, one is enough. <laughs> so going up and down, multiplying. Um, if you even read why God asked the people of Israel to build the Jerusalem temple, Deuteronomy chapter 12, go. God said you must not multiply altars like the pagans do. God wanted the place of worship to be one. That's why you have only one temple in Israel. What you have in other places are the synagogues. You will jump from one man of God to the other. Multiplying prayer warriors, this, 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 or that. Zukwanike, eh? Let me tell somebody, Zukwanike, stay one place, stay one place. For those of you who are from this parish, this parish is enough. This altar here is enough for you. There is nothing God cannot do for you here that he has positioned to do for you somewhere. Now you get problem. You know, be the altar get problem. Where two or three gather in my name, I am there. He, anywhere they gather. Those of you who change churches, I mean, it's, it's not God you are looking for. You are looking for men of God. You are looking for men of God. You are not looking for God. And as long as you keep looking for men of God, you keep changing them. Because men of God will come in fashion and out of fashion. But God will remain the same. It's men of God you are looking for. So I'm just trying to help your life. Because I know you waste money, you waste energy. And then sometimes some of you go with 90% of your sense intact. But you come back. Only 10% is remaining. There are some people now, their sense is remaining just 10%. They have lost it. I'm telling you the fact. They have lost their senses visiting here and there. Very soon, the sense will completely 
go. You think I don't know what I'm saying? Wait until one day your own sister, your own blood sister will come and tell you that man of God told me that you, my brother, you're the reason why I'm not progressing. Does it not happen? Have, have people not been told that their mother is the witch that has refused them to marry? So your mother was a witch and she did not eat you when you were in her stomach. <laughs> no sense. Keep going. Some of you, your sense is marrying just 10%. The battery life of your sense, 10%. That's what he just said there. If you feel insulted, I'm sorry. But if this will help you to reboot, bring back your senses. To watch full videos and get notifications for new ones, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you.